And that brings us to our third step, which is designing the map. Um, a lot of times people will come in, they'll understand the concepts, concepts that I just spoke about, but they don't write them down and set the, these things up going forward. Now that's fine if you're working with, with within the boot camp or you're working with a trainer and they kind of have that stuff covered for you, your program design. But I think if you don't write things down of what you're going to do on specific days, it doesn't get done. So designing the map, sitting down, spending an hour or two, designing out the month, designing out maybe a full entire um, yearly training program um, is definitely beneficial. Let's start with just a month. So we'll go a phase breakdown would be like I mentioned before when we spoke about strength training. You want to try to put down all your rep ranges, how many reps you're going to do, how many sets you're going to do, what those exercises are going to be. Uh, you want to write down the days you're going to come in and do your cardio, uh, what you're going to do for warm up on each day. Um, these things can all be put down and, and, and blocked out to, to work on what you are going to specifically do within those sessions. So from there, we break it down to a smaller piece and what you're going to do on a weekly basis. On a weekly basis, you're going to write down you know, your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and where the things are going to fall. Then from there, you'd break down your daily workouts and, and basically how, what you're going to do when you come in. So we typically start with our warm-up. We work on mobility and stability. Some of the exercises and video clips I've been sending out have a lot of mobility and stability type things. Then we go into more of a general warm-up and movement preparation. Then from there we work on, depending on the client, we work on a little bit of power work and movement skills if it's an athlete. If it's maybe boot camp, we go into our power strength which is you know going to be on the weight room floor where we're doing um, our big body movements first. If we do a, a one circuit where we're doing some type of squatting activity and some type of pulling activity and then we pair it up with more smaller auxiliary movements like a single leg squat and a, maybe a, a one arm row versus a two arm row. So we're getting that we're hitting that those things but the, the point is to take away from this is just to make sure you map this stuff out and you write it up um, it's you know people come in even bodybuilders as much as I'm not a fan of bodybuilding type programming the one thing that they're really good at is marking down every single thing that they do how much weight they do um, here at the gym we do have program um, templates that you can fill out all your exercises and put in your weights if you want to grab one of those you can just ask for it at the front desk uh, so that is pretty much how you can design a map for yourself from your um, strength and, and conditioning standpoint. You also probably want to design a map for yourself for your nutrition, your recovery, and everything else that you're going to do during the week as far as work, because it is really all tied in together.